And what we're going to do today is we're going to join that water source there. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny little inlet of water in that back right hand corner into this main flow of the spring and we're going to then dam off this water supply as well and instead of it running all the way down there into the stream we're going to run it into this pipe here and then we're going to divert it into this well which is uh, three metres deep in total but the water level currently goes to about um, one and three quarter metres and then goes out of that four inch soil pipe into an IBC tank which I'll show you in a second and that uh, 25 mil alkathene pipe comes all the way up to the top there where the barn is which you can't see and there'll be a water reservoir up there and that will then um, gravity feed all of the water troughs and standpipes on the land. So the four inch soil pipe goes all the way over here to the IBC. There's a metal one and a half inch internal bore galvanised pipe that goes, you can just about see it in the water there, that runs from the IBC all the way down to where the ram pump's going to be situated. So down here is where the ram pump will be situated and there's actually a concrete pad there now which the ram will sit on. So that's coming from the well ultimately via the IBC. The, um, that's a sluice pipe so that any sediment in the IBC can be washed out. This level here at which this pipe comes out is um, uh, about approximately three metres below the water level at which the spring comes out um, and the ram pump um, works on water volume and the drop from the where the um, outlet comes out the spring and the bigger that drop then the more power um, the ram pump has to work. So here we are again in uh, November 2018 and this is the uh, working area. Bags of clay, down pipes, another bag of clay, mattock, pickaxe, or oh, in fact Bruce has got the mattock. So we've done a trench to the well and there's the little bowl in front of there where his boot is and that's going to have a little well, a basin of clay. Just beyond is where we're going to capture the other little leakage. In fact I'll go around the other side. So there in this pool we've got two inches below. So we're going to capture the water here, capture the water there. It's going to run down there into the well. So here we are Again, uh, there's a few leakages going on around there, leading off the small bowl. Um, every time we plug them, they seem to move slightly. Bruce has just started filling up the small one with the small stones, which act as a filtration. And then, you can see here on the bigger one how we've then finished off with big stones, primarily to um, when we put the plastic lid, which we're just going to make from old for sale signs, God forbid anybody treads on it, they're not going to tread down onto the um, pipes or the filters, so fingers crossed, this big one doesn't seem to be leaking so much, but we're going to leave it all open anyway, um, so that we can you know, see what it's doing and plug up any leaks if, if they continue over the next week or so. I thought I would just give an update of where I'm at with the ram pump situation. It's all working, um, but there's a few modifications. Uh, so just to say that here, I'm up at the barn at the top of the hill, which is about 
25 to 30 metres above, um, so a rise from where the ram pump's situated, and it's over a distance of about 120 to 150 metres. I've got four pipes here, two adjoining each other. The one on the left is coming up from the pump, and the one on the right is taking currently, because I've not got it linked up to um, a tank and so forth up here, um, I can't uh, dead end the system because the system has to be a continual flow. It's like a, a heart in the body, it needs to um, keep going round and round, keep pumping, to keep pumping. So the one on the right is the overflow pipe that goes back down the hill into the well again. The other two pipes are um, linked up to the trough systems that I've got um, in on the land. So um, it's just waiting for the next phase, which will be up here by the barn. The first stage that you can see that area I've kind of started levelling. I'm going to put an IBC tank there, um, one on top of the other. The bottom one will just be raising the top one to the level I need. And then I'll have the pipework going into those IBCs um, and that will then gravity feed everything. Just in case you don't know what an IBC is, that's an IBC, that tank there. Just the sweetest sound. We can hear like a heartbeat. Sounds like the air pressure is getting a bit stronger. It does though, doesn't it? We're not sure if we've got the pressure on the um, vessel down below the ram pump because I don't know what I'm doing, I'm having a go. So if the pressure's not enough, it'll just take longer to push it up because I think we put it at, at about six and a half pressure, which uh, is about a 70 metre 70 meter rise. And we, 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 I actually think we're about 100 and 120 metre rise. I can't believe it. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! It's just amazing. It is just amazing. I am so grateful for the power water pad technology. It's amazing. This. Yeah. Okay, it's not very much water, but it's water! There's water at the top of the hill. I'm so excited. The end of 2018. We have water up at the barn. Whoop, whoop. Here it comes. <laughs> Might Proper be dribble, job. but it's water. Mm, 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 it mm. does taste beautiful. <laughs> so, just to say that the pump has been going non stop since the end of uh, December, so that's now um, six months. Um, and it hasn't had any problems, the flows remain very consistent. A uh, couple of other things, this brown pipe, the four inch soil that ends there, is actually attached, you can see the posts there, to the IBC and it's a sluice pipe, so every so often I can empty the IBC out and it will flush all any possible sediment, it's good to do that um, sort of every, uh, I don't know, a couple of months, something like that. Um, I think it's just good to keep the system really clean. And also I mentioned about uh, the IBC buckling and uh, the reason was, so a trench was dug between here and the IBC and the uh, one and a half inch internal galvanised pipe was put in and connected to the two and what uh, uh, water power technologies recommend is don't cover any of the pipework until the system's up and running, going, da -da -da. I missed that bit of information. And so uh, the pipe got covered up, the IBC wasn't full of water, and as a consequence the pipe moved by, it could have just been a couple of millimetres, and so it's buckled a plastic tank. However, it's a blessing in disguise because, as I say, at the moment, um, because the uh, IBC is only about 
um, two and a half meters above the level of the ram, moving it down to my left by a couple of hundred feet, I can make it nearly seven meters higher. One of the most important things is the head of water as well as the volume, but the head of the water, the head of water. So a rise of nearly five meters to position the ram is a really, really good thing. And the very, very last thing I want to say is that I had a bit of help from my dear friend Rachel and also Rob um, came and, uh, but had they not, the instructions are very clear to how to fit the ram. Um, it was not a problem for me to do it at all. Um, it's really straightforward, really basic. There's a great video on um, Water Power Technologies website if you need to have a look as well. Um, but yeah, very straightforward. You just need, um, I would suggest, two Stilsons um, just to help um, tighten up all of the joints. Um, but other than that, it was easy as pie. So, because the ram pump wasn't in the right place, well, it works, but it's not as it's most efficient. So I've got um, the lovely digger man to come back and so that's a meter drop where the new pump's going to be situated and at the top there there's going to be a 2,000 litre tank and then that's going to uh, be 7 metres drop to where I'm standing. It doesn't seem it at all 7 metres but apparently it is the, the, the nice uh, water power technologies man came and measured it so the whole point of this project is that there's going to be um, a, a seven meter drop head from the new tank over there to the new position of the pump there and so it will increase the water that's pumped up to the top of the hill by um, about three times somewhere between two and a half and three thousand liters a day as opposed to just um, about roughly 800 what it is currently.